Hi, I'm Kathy Johnson from Pyramid of Potential. Welcome to video 47 of the Harnessing Learning Potential video series. Today, we're talking about logic and reasoning. Someone who does not have good logic and reasoning is a concrete thinker. They basically only know exactly what you've told them, and they can't deduce or go beyond that. Someone who is a concrete thinker has difficulty with implications. So um, I had this one student whose mom told me the story where her daughter was walking out the door and her mom said, hey, it's cold outside. And her daughter said, okay, mom, and walked outside because she thought her mom was telling her that it was cold outside when really her mom was implying that she should put on a sweater or a jacket. In school, what we find with somebody who has poor logic and reasoning is they many times do not understand uh, exactly what um, written uh, things are talking about. So let's say that they've got a paragraph and underneath are comprehension questions. So uh, the, for a concrete thinker, the comprehension questions have to be worded exactly the same as they are in the paragraph above or else they don't know what you're talking about because they can't, in, they don't understand implication or translation. Unfortunately, if the questions underneath are worded exactly the same, then we're actually not testing their comprehension, we're testing how well they can match. So, um, students really need that, um, that ability of logic and reasoning. Another thing in fourth grade, when reading, we start adding in symbolism, similes, and metaphors. And those things just don't mean anything to somebody who is a concrete thinker. Uh, in math, we find that logic and reasoning is so important for understanding math, understanding numbers and what they really mean, understanding what those math uh, functions are. They might be able to learn through rote memorization how to do certain things, but they certainly don't understand why. And so being able to apply math to a real life situation or being able to um, do word, math word problems requires this cognitive skill. Uh, so there are two ways to improve it. The very first is to integrate the moral reflex using starfish. You can find that on the Maintaining Brains uh, Everyday video. The second way is to do cognitive training and to directly train the brain to improve logic and reasoning. And you can do this uh, using the Growing Brains curriculum or um, through uh, um, the Equipping Minds curriculum or finally uh, through the brain advancement team. Now, that's the way I do it. There are other, also other ways. And so I'm going to show you one today. I'm going to use the set game. I love this game because it really does not require a lot of words and a lot of explanation. So I set out nine random cards. A set is three cards where the three different uh, characteristics are either all the same or all different. So as I look at this, I find a set, okay, and I found one. I found a very easy one. And what you're going to have to do is find the third card in the set. So here's the first card. Here's the second card. And can you find which is the third card? And if you found that one, that would be correct. Okay? So that's um, an easy way to play this game. I don't even have to explain what the rules are. I just say what card goes along with this. So let's try another one. I say here's one card, and here's the second card. What's the third card? Can you find it? And you probably found this one. Now, there's another set here using this card again. So 
So, can you find the third card that goes along with these two? And if you found that one, that's correct. So, there are ways to play this game that are an awful lot of fun. And it doesn't require a whole lot of explanation. There's no words to read. And it's really quite fun, especially once you um, start playing the game. So those are some ways to improve logic and reasoning.